Hello everyone, Xenon and Simmer here, and welcome back to a new Let's Play! Let's Play Luminous Avenger X. Last, last Let's Play, we had a huge story, so I thought, considering the next Let's Play, and the one after, and the one after, are going to be huge endeavours, I wanted to do something shorter. So, the first game came up. So, let's start. In the near future, in an unknown nation, a grim dystopia was dominated by an all-powerful AI unit gone berserk. One of my favorite features of this game, compared to the previous, voice acting in English. And I really like it. It was destroyed thanks to the efforts of Copen, the luminous Avenger X, and the world enjoyed a moment of peace. Copen and his comrades savored the newfound tranquility under the guidance of their new leader, Blade. With the world now at peace, Copen was finally able to lose himself in his research. Seems like you guys had another busy day. Now that things are finally peaceful, you should really be taking it a bit easier than this. Hey, come on now, Kohaku. Koben spent so long fighting the good fight, so now that everything's all peachy, he just doesn't know what to do with himself. That's not true. I fully intend on taking a break. Just, it's this thing's fault. The more I learn about it, the more intriguing it gets. Oh, that's the thing that just suddenly appeared in your hands one day, right? What's up with that? It's a rifle-shaped processing unit, but its materials and constructions are not of this world. It's labeled Blaster Rifle. Now you know why I to do Blastmaster first, because this game has a connection to that game, vaguely. I still have no idea how or why it suddenly manifested before my eyes. The a reason. It's because of a DLC fight. We'll get to it. It doesn't work right now. If I keep digging, I may be able to determine something about the other world that originated from it. <laughs> hmm. Was that talking just now? Talking? I don't hear a thing. Whoa! Hey, you two! Look at that! What is that? A wormhole? I got some huge energy readings here. Uh, I'm getting sucked in! Excuse me? What in the world just happened? Kohaku? Lola? Are you okay? Hmm. Who's that? Oh dear, please pardon me. If I may ask, would you by any chance happen to be human? What are you? I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Please call me Noel. From the looks of you, you must be a robot, right? should be able to find a way back to our world in there. Hopefully it really is that simple. Getting there is going to be a pain in the butt. Sounds like there are tons of obstacles out there waiting for us. That's exactly what my new gear is for. Besides, we can't just wait around forever. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Okay, let's get this mission started. Now... And 
then we've got two Colossal Maelstrom, and we'll get started there. Healing. Healing. New gimmick of this game. Well, one. Recovery sequence complete. You're getting better at using healing mode. You bet I am. I can activate healing whenever, wherever, and however many times you need. Seriously, there's no limit to it. Don't be afraid to use it whenever you want. Yeah, this makes this game pretty easy. Except in hard mode. We'll get to talking about that, because we need to unlock it. Even though I've unlocked it, I'm going to pretend what happened. Mission start! So, we've got some changes. First... Alright, we need to get all the bonus emblems to get hard mode. So, our weapons change to this. And, in some ways, I like it. In others, I hate it. Our charge is changed into the brake shift and then the bullet dash. Yeah. Uh, me and a lot of people do not like this change. It's one of those changes that. While it probably makes the game better, better in some ways, it just isn't satisfying. The recall dash also isn't good because watch. Yeah. If we want to log on, we have to just jump dash. You see me only effectively using the homing dash. Hover, which is a toggle now, which I like. Probably figure. I don't remember the old mark. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. There it is. Overdrive returns and is the same. And effectively gives us back bullet dash. Even as a break dash. Oh no, it's not. Level ups return. Set again. Hard mode. Good. <laughs> 
Now we get a checkpoint. We can choose to take it, or we can go over. I'm gonna go over, because healing effectively gives us a checkpoint. And Tejas? Weapon might be a little familiar. Also have this. This is the one move that turns from X1. And yeah, no. <laughs> no one no one really likes this. Alright, didn't use Milstrom. Now oh, we'll get a state some. Damn it. Critical. Who the hell was that? Now, boss. That guy kind of looks like you. Did it make a copy of my data? That quickly? <laughs> Whatever. No use worrying about it right now. We're heading into the tower. It looks like the entrance is protected by some sort of barrier. I can't manage to hack my way in either. Barrier must be messing with the signal. Then we'll just have to break through. I'll rip it open with my razor wheel. Stay back. Wait up! Jeez, that was so messed up. You guys left me and Null behind. Seriously, you two? You followed us? My apologies, Lola. We were so worried that we couldn't just stand idly by and wait. That was incredibly reckless. Are you hurt? Nope. Things got a little hairy on the way, but we were fine thanks to that special weapon you made for me. Anywho, what's the matter? Looks like you're in a bit of a tight spot. Yeah, there's this barrier blocking the entrance. It looks open to me. Say what? Kohaku, what did you do? Huh? Me? I have no idea. I don't think I did anything. Um, hmm. I may have an idea. The grave pillar was built by the creator and bequeathed to humankind. Perhaps when one of those humans, Kohaku, drew near, it responded? That could explain it. Well done, Kohaku. I'm not human, so there's no way I could have pulled this off. <laughs> don't mention it. Hey, hold up! Don't joke about stuff like that! You're very much a human, Copen! Your body is just all cyborgish, that's all. Whatever you say. Come on, let's make our way in. Make a win. The grave pillar. The tower left behind by the creator. I believe it was originally used for research into restoring the environment to one suitable for human life. Whoa! Check out this map! This thing's got a volcano, a jungle, and all kinds of 
other environments. There's a whole volcano and jungle in this tower? It must be gigantic. This creator person must have been really incredible. That's who made you and the rest of the workers, right? Correct. The creator researched all sorts of ways to restore the environment for humans. It is said that the creator left behind all their research data in the mother computer at the top of the tower. According to one hypothesis, humans were not wiped out. Instead, they were all transported to another world, or so I have heard. Yes, since we just came here from another world, it's hard to totally deny that. Even if it would normally sound totally bonkers. For now, we have no choice but to hope it's true. I'm sure the data is all there. I'll do my best to help you find it. Oh yeah. Let's have a look around here first. Oh my! Just when we have made some progress, we seem to have gotten stuck. No luck. Dang it. Looks like we'll need two card keys to open the lock. Card keys? Got my hands on some juicy data. And it looks like two of the workers in charge of the sector should each have a key. Oh, I remember hearing about that. There are powerful workers in charge of protecting this tower known as Gravekeepers. So the Gravekeepers hold the keys. It would be nice if they just handed them over without a fight. We gotta find them first. Kohaku, no? You two should wait by the entrance area. It looks like the security bots are programmed not to enter that part of the tower. Don't even think about following us this time. Sorry about that. This tower has been operating for hundreds of years, huh? Then we get different music. We talk. Hey boss, have you been using your EX weapon Anchor Nexus at all? As long as it's active, Anchor Nexus, it doesn't fire when you press the button. It can target any... Remember, it'll... Yeah, we get talk. When Copen's HP... Oh? Huh? Here. Ta-da! Whenever I see the only Yeah, they're just teaching you gameplay. I'm Hey Cop I guess. But now that I'll have to allocate resources to the brake shift. But hey, at least you can use it again and then if you get over one thousand coups. Yeah! You even switched out those silly looking death. Not everything's different though. Instead, we've got missions. We've jump volcano block and jungle block. However, we have the DLC. We have Kohaku Otori, Kirin from Gumvolt Free, Corona, Blastmaster, who, yeah, we definitely know who that is, and Yaku Yumo, I believe is her name. Yang Yumo. Whoops. And she's gonna be the first one we deal with. Yang Yumo is from Dust Driver, the main protagonist. And she has an upgrade we really want. Mission start! Wow, this eye with the TV is a fusion? A human? What are you doing here? Yeah, Yang Yumo speaks Chinese, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I guess it's coming down to a fight. Ready? Go! As you can tell, I'm not exactly used to... ...playing without the upgrade. The upgrade makes dashing so much nicer. Healing. Nice. 
now. Meaning to do it, but we're beating Yang Yima. We get D burst. Now we can check upgrades. I'm playing rock paper scissors with Null just a bit ago. You should play too, Copen. We can check our EX weapons, our upgrades. Yeah, we we'll probably want to get some of this. We definitely want extender and XP boost. And also decorate wings. But if we do Bullet Dash Gauge will be used even when while not in overdrive. A lot of people prefer to use this. But we'll leave the others for another day. Let's go to Jungle Block Breakout. And after that, we'll end our episode. This place is packed with greenery. It's like the exact opposite of how things look outside the tower. You don't let your guard down, though. It may be packed full of nature, but it's also packed full of security bots. They won't see us as anything more than intruders. We should be prepared to fight. Mission start! There's nothing to the left. So let's move. <laughs> Meet at least it area. The easiest bonus and one to miss. So try and make sure you don't miss out. Those women like butterflies. This is luck based. Not done yet. We do have infinite while having awakenings. Is it not a bad idea? Good, good, good. 
Ooh. Another one will commit really easily. I actually have to come back here because I need a certain upgrade. I forgot about that. We need it twice. Because I believe we can't go backwards. that boss. Most of them. Not off the We do need one of the upgrades. Oh, we do get here the boss music. Well, well, well. Look who it is. The menacing pest who came to disturb the great Vespa's tea time. You're using propellers? That's pretty old fashioned for this world. Anyway, more important, we're not here to fight. 
Could you just lend us your key for a bit? Hand over my admin key to some bandits who don't even have guest passes? <laughs> You're delusional! I also heard what you said just now. You called these exquisite propellers of mine old-fashioned, didn't you? Ugh, how dare you deride a lady's appearance! Now I'm really pissed off! A noble mission has been bestowed upon us to rid this place of intruders. Make no mistake! You shall be the next victim claimed by my rotors! Ready? Let's go! <laughs> this is our perfect weapon. Changes depending on which text you have on. In, in using English text, Stinger Torrent. In Japanese, I don't remember what it's called. There's actually a video showing all the dialogue changes. Which is, well, if you have Japanese text on. Really cool that they did this. Yeah, that was not great. We've got Whirling Chopper and the yellow key. Welcome back. How'd it go? Hey, Kohaku. So, we found the key on the gravekeeper's body. I guess that means. Yep. It came down to a fight after all. Don't beat yourself up over it, Lola. The Grave Keepers aren't like me. They're a special kind of worker. The Pillar's auto maintenance system should have them fixed up in no time. Thanks, Noel. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, we already got the key, so hopefully things will be more friendly the next time we meet. Oh, boss, I almost forgot. I used the data we got from that Grave Keeper to develop a new EX weapon. I went ahead and registered it in your pause menu. Now you'll be able to use it right away during your next mission. What is an EX weapon? There's special weapons I can create using data I collect during battles with super strong opponents. Naturally, they're not one-to-one -one copies of their weapons. I put my own spin on them. Wow! You're incredible, Lola! So useful! And multi-purpose, too! You think so? You're making me blush. Each of the pillar security bots and gravekeepers should be vulnerable to at least one of them. If I can make use of each weapon at my disposal, I'll gain the upper hand in combat. I'm feeling great today. Whirling Chopper will send you try activating it and Oh yeah, these are great. You can even use it to cool down if you're overheating. What a gem of a weapon. It is, but you know it's not a fan, right? <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait until we get to the next one, because Kohaku has some great dialogue with Kopin snarking. But we're we doing that next time. And next time we'll also be doing Kirin next. See you guys then. Zinazuma, signing out.